You guys want to know why it doesn't matter if you fucking weigh 260? You could weigh fucking 360 for all I care. Get behind me. I don't want no one saying, oh, he edited that shit. Come here. Should have kept your fucking mouth shut. Put these on, cat. Cash out. What it do? Boo, boo. This is actually, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be leaking this flavor. They're always getting mad at me saying, oh, big dog, you can't leak the flavors. If you leak the flavors before everyone else, no one and no one else's code's gonna get used because everyone's gonna use yours. You gotta stop. You gotta stop leaking this shit. Bro, what is up with me today? I'm about to wine, dine, and fucking 69 these weights tonight, baby. I'm hyped. It's a nightmare. I don't know. I'm starting to think the NFL is rigged, honestly. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you, that Jets Chiefs game was fucking bullshit, bro. Fucking bullshit. Fuck Taylor Swift. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you heard it first from me. Fuck Taylor Swift. Stop. I used to respect Travis Kelsey's game. Homie had to go out and endorse fucking Pfizer. What's up with that shit, bro? Sell out. Must not have heard. Little Dick Wicks back in town. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna give you guys some fucking value-based shoulder and arm day, baby. Value-based, something that you could take home, fucking sit on for a while and go and invest it into the fucking stock trade. Some value-based lifting. <laughs> Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening. I don't know when you're watching this, but mostly I'm just trying to say is what's up. All right, boys, so me and Kat are about to head to the town over, go take care of some errands, the biggest errand being I got a push day today, a big push day. When I say a big push day, it really is just a typical push day, but I am gonna be doing a little bit more volume. The length of my exercise, or I guess the length of my workouts have been a little bit different recently because like I mentioned in my last video, I'm taking my physical training into a different direction. I'm trying to at least, you know, I've been really hyper fixated on bodybuilding type training the last two years and I'm trying to get away from that a little bit, but obviously I'm still training the weights. Like I'm never going to stop hitting the weights. I just would like a better balance. So basically what I'm getting at is today I'm going in and I'm hitting a push day. There's going to be a little bit more volume than usual. Um, just one or two more exercises because I'm only going to the gym and moving weight three, maybe four times a week. I'm leaning more towards three. I'll do chest and tricep like I'm gonna do today. And then I'll go in and I'll have a shoulder, back and bicep day. A little different, don't really love training shoulders on a pull day, but it just, I feel like if I try and do shoulders, triceps and chest all in one day, it's just too much. And you know, I can get away with throwing in shoulders on a back day. The remaining day is obviously a leg day, so. You know, you hear going in and training three days a week. I'm not out here skating. The other four days, I've been focusing on running and getting back into the flow of running. I'm obviously trying to work my way up to that because, you know, if I just went out and David Goggins did it weighing 250 and like, fuck it, I'm going to go run four or five miles because that's what I used to do. Like, it's just a recipe to get injured. So 
during those days that I'm not in the gym training, I am running. I've been sticking to the treadmill recently because I feel like that's a little bit um, more forgiving on your body, especially like ramping up to it. But I'll get a little bit of miles on the road throughout the week too. So I'm excited. I've been feeling really good. I'm trying to balance everything. But today we got a big push day and it's nice. It's refreshing going in and just saying, okay, we're just going to go hit the weights today. Not a lot of cardio. So that's what I got cooking today. I just got to eat this fucking cream of rice. I hate cream of rice, such a bodybuilding, like gross, depressing meal, but <laughs> it's a good way to get in carbs quick, you know, it's efficient, so I'm just going to eat it because I need to get some more carbs in before this workout. And you put protein in it too. Oh yeah, I did put protein in it. I don't know if I'm supposed to leak this. <laughs> I'm just going to leak it because, where'd you put it? In the pantry. Because if I don't leak it now, I probably won't leak it by the time it comes out. Don't tell Gorilla Mine, but they got this pumpkin spice protein coming out uh, for the fucking, you know, the season. Tis the season to eat pumpkin spice flavored everything. It's good with milk. No, but it's actually, milk. it's actually pretty good. It's good with whole milk. I'm not usually a huge pumpkin flavor guy, but it's good. It tastes like the Starbucks, like pumpkin flavoring they use, so it's not bad. So we're running nitric today as well. Blackberry lemonade. I don't know if I'm supposed to leave that, but <laughs> <laughs> it's fire. I had to make a quick pit stop before the gym, boys. You know, I just got, you know, I was feeling a little bored of the truck, the Duramax, so figured I'd go buy something new and gloat about it to you guys on YouTube, you know, fucking show you what you wish you had and shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. I had to drop off the truck. It's getting some work done on it. So I'm whipping the grandma's paddy wagon for the next couple of days. Thing's pretty sick. Cadillac, custom plating, <laughs> 0 to 60 in 8.7 seconds. I love how you would never expect that, that was a gym. It's so grimy. It's literally right next to that bar. Look at the bar, cat. <laughs> It's like bar, gym. All right, boys, big push day. Chest and triceps, strictly chest and triceps. I'll probably throw a little bit of abs in there, um, a bit of cardio at the end, but chest and triceps is the main focus and we gotta go hard today. Like I said, I'm only going to the gym three, four days a week, really emphasizing rest and emphasizing training for running. Now, with the added rest days, with the added emphasis on recovery, uh, I just need to come into the gym with a chip on my shoulder every single time I am getting a training session. And at least, at least that's what I've been telling myself, you know? Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with training three, four days a week. There's nothing wrong with added recovery, you know, especially for the position I'm in right now and with the transition of my goals. Uh, but with that being said, it's time to get to work. I think this is what I'm gonna run with the superset. I don't always like ripping things off with the superset, but I feel like, you know, coming in with an attitude today, let's fucking go, let's go ahead and get it done. Gonna superset dumbbell incline with a pushing machine over here. I don't really love this pushing machine that they have at this gym, but hey, you can't be picky and choosy sometimes. You just gotta fucking get it done. So I'm gonna superset this with that. Just get the ball rolling, get me sweating. Should be a good time. Fucking ready, baby, chip on my shoulder.
Fuck, bro. Ah. Could have been better. All right, we're gonna jump over to cable flies. I'm just letting um, bro over there stretch out a little bit. I think he's done. Again, three sets. We're gonna stick to the theme of three sets of each exercise, at least for a while. Um, and then I'll see where I go from there. But the most important thing is going, you know, getting quality sets, pushing it to failure on the sets that you need to. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling pretty good today. Let's go. <clears throat> Yes, bro. That was money. I felt good. I got one more. I'll take it a little bit farther on that last one. All right, last one. We're gonna bring it all the way. Calmly, with precision. My watch kept getting caught. It <laughs> caught in that thing, it was so annoying. I'm supposed to be doing Smith Machine Bench, but since I moved back to Washington, I find myself like wanting to bench. I don't know why. It's been a long time since I've benched. I don't really think benching is the most necessary thing for building muscle, especially bodybuilding wise. A lot of bodybuilders don't bench, but I've enjoyed benching in the past, so I think I'm gonna do it today. Obviously not gonna go too heavy. It's uh, my third, fourth exercise in. I just mostly want to get the technique down and start moving my body in that, that movement again. I felt pretty weak right there. It's not demotivating, it is what it is. But damn. <sighs> 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 Oh! <laughs> 
My camera died as I was filming the outro at the gym and I didn't bring any extra batteries like an idiot. So I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I just decided to film the outro when I got back home. It just doesn't seem right to, to not give the peas a proper goodbye, you know. But for you guys, I appreciate every single one of you that watches my videos, every single one of you that runs up my code, every single one of you that comments. Like seriously, like just watching my videos blows my mind that I have people doing it. And uh, it means a lot to me. I don't want to get all corny on you guys, but I just want to say thanks. I'm going to try and say thank you every single video. I appreciate you guys, and uh, I'll see you again real soon. P-Way, the only way.